I see, I, I always picture things. But imagine me just a moment, this funeral possession. I try to look back in the time of Jesus, and I can see these men carrying this bear. Actually, they're carrying a coffin, is what we would call it today. They were carrying this coffin, and I can see in the back this mother, this widow. She's probably dressed in black and walking behind her son's coffin. I can get a picture of that, and there they are, fixing to head to the cemetery. They're nearing the cemetery. But as they enter toward the cemetery, Jesus shows up. And I want you to understand something in this. When you begin to visualize this and see what Jesus is doing and how it takes place, aren't you glad tonight, folks? I believe God has got divine appointments. God don't make mistakes. Things don't just happen sometimes. He's got to have you where he wants you. He's going to be where he needs to be. So the Bible says here, when Jesus shows up, he takes a funeral and turns it in to a celebration. He turns darkness into light. He turns misery misery into gladness. Why is that? Because at the beginning of this story, we see weeping. We see sorrow. We see crying. But see, at the end of this story, we see worshiping and praising. And folks, listen to me. It's the same way today. When you come, when Jesus passes by, you might have got up this morning with a tear in your eye, but you can go to bed tonight with a dry eye. You might have got up today with a burden in your heart, but I'm telling you today, when Jesus passes by, your misery today, your burden burdens today, your tears today can dry up because when Jesus passes by, things change and he met this funeral possession at the village of Nain. Three quick things here I want to share in this passage of scripture that's always been precious to me and I want you to look with me tonight and I pray tonight if you're home and you're listening that if you're sitting at home, I know that there's burdens. I know tonight that there's tears. I know tonight that there's lonely mothers weeping over their children. There's daddies tonight who who are weeping and and praying and crying over their children. And Satan is working to destroy everything about us. But I want to leave you some hope tonight. What do I see in this passage of Scripture that will give you hope and bring you hope from the Word of God that brought me hope that Jesus passed by? He changed my life. He's forever changed me. And tonight when I look in this passage of Scripture, verse 12 tells me, here is a lady with a broken heart. Here's a lady with a broken heart. How do you know that, preacher? Because verse 12 tells me, here is a lady who the Bible says has not only lost her son to death, but she was a widow. This is not the first time this woman's heart's been broken. This is not the first time this woman's been to the cemetery. And I want you to understand something. The Bible says here she was a widow. What a picture that paints to me. This woman came to bury her her husband. The first time she went into the cemetery, the first coffin she walked behind Brother Jim, the first time she was going into the cemetery, oh, she had somebody to hold her hand. She had somebody to go with her. Her son, her only son was saying, Mom, everything's going to be all right. But she took her son and she buried him there in the village of Nain. But she, she came back down, no doubt, with a broken heart. Listen to me. As she went back home, she thought everything will be all right. The son said, Mama, everything will be all right. And she and that boy gave her a little laughter, gave her a little cheer, gave her a little something. But what a picture we see here. Now that little boy that brought her laughter, that little boy that would comfort her, and that little boy who would hold her up and say, Mom, everything be all right. Well, the Bible says now it's her only son, and he's taking her all the joy that she's got, everything that she has left. Her heart is broken. She's been to the cemetery before, but now she's going a second time. I want to tell you something tonight, folks. Her past had been rough, but her present has been rougher. Let me say something to somebody out there tonight, Brother Jim, that's listening. Your past has been rough, but I'm telling you right now, it might be rougher. You might be saying, Preacher, it's tougher now than it's it's ever been. I'm going to show you how to mend the broken heart. Jesus Christ came to bring sight to the blind and bind up the broken hearted and set the captives free. And I'm telling you, when this woman went to the cemetery the second time, her heart was broken, but she didn't know how she's going to make it. She saw no future. She saw no hope. But I'm telling you, friend, I don't care how rough your present is today. It can get better because I'm telling you, Jesus knows how to mend broken hearts. I believe she thought I'll never be able to laugh again. I'll never be happy again. 
Will I ever be able to worship again? Will I ever go to church again? Will I ever enjoy church again? Will I ever be able to go back? Listen to me, son. There's somebody listening somewhere tonight. I believe this with all my heart. Your life's been interrupted. It may have been interrupted by an accident. I've seen Rex recently on TV. Every night you turn the news on. There's something happening. Devastation. Families are hurting all over the place. Families' lives have been turned upside down by accidents and tragedies and there's pain out there tonight and suffering physically and mentally and emotionally. There's sorrow on every hand and there's some people tonight who are visiting the funeral home or fixing to go. You've got bad news. Mama's fixing to leave and if the doctor, if God don't intervene daddy's not going to make it long but I'm telling you tonight, even in the midst of death, I'm going to tell you the world has interrupted your life but there's one coming tonight who's greater than this world, who's greater than Satan and he wants to interrupt your life and I'm here tonight to bring you not just good news I'm here to bring you some good news I know one tonight who will pass by he wants to be in Mickey's singing tonight he wants to be in this little service tonight he wants to be in this preaching tonight why? because he wants you to be lifted up he wants to put a spring in your step and a laughter in your heart and joy back in your face and a smile upon your face 